my channel my name is Lucidi and welcome guys I'm really here I'm here to complain personally because your presidents the guys that you guys um voted for I don't have water I don't have water right now if I can show you a set of the kitchen I just wash dishes with the littlest of water that I could find the bathroom a mess because you can't take out the bath water because the bath was about the toilet <laughs> like hotla kaboy but anyway i'm gonna boil a little bottle of water to wash my face and i got a new face wash um so i got this tea tree anti-blemish um sheet mask period there's low pH good morning gel cleanser and botanical ingredients. This low pH formula works to soothe, refresh, soften the skin without dripping healing. Korean face wash. As you can see. I'm excited to use this because yes, I was using CeraVe, but like I feel like that is a good face wash for the winter, for the summertime and not for the winter time. And yes, I'm pretty late, but amen. It takes time to understand your skin. I know I now know that during winter I need to change my skin skincare routine and then my summer one is perfect ready to have it you know down because when I'm in summer I'm a baddie but my skin is doing good right now so we're gonna do a bit of skincare and then I'm gonna eat porridge for dinner like my belly thing because I don't feel like bob I don't feel like chicken so I just I'm making that right now I'm gonna try to give you guys like a rundown of my skincare I'm only missing two products. My moisturizer is finished and my serum is close to empty. So we have to go and get those things when I can. Please note, I have bathed. I went to Master's place and went to go bath because she's living in the white suburbs where they don't try hella her. They don't try hella her in the white suburbs. Yeah, yeah. So I'm a clean baby. Bossed and everything. Don't come test me here. Think I haven't bossed. I have bossed. I was gonna make tea, so this is gonna be my face washing water and I'm also on my period. So, like, I just realized how much we depend on water. This is five liters of water. Wash this with a bit of this water. Did I cook with this water? I don't know. I cook with this water as well. I'm about to boil. I really hope you play this Cause oh girl you test my patience With all these seductive photographs And all these one off vacations You've been faking Clearly a lot for me to take in It don't make sense Young East African girl You too busy fucking with your other man I was trying to put you on game Put you on a plane Take you and your mama to the motherland I could do it Maybe one day, when you figure out you're gonna need someone When you figure out it's all right here in the city And you don't run from where we come from That sound like poetic justice Poetic justice You were so new to this life, but goddamn you got adjusted I mean, I write poems in these songs Dedicated to the fun set
anyway guys um so and i did say yesterday i'm on my period so i kind of do want to kind of do wanna like comfort my ego so i do want to go get um pizza hut but the melts i wanted to get a i want to get pizza but i think i should actually get the melts i just want to get cinnabon as well and like hot chocolate on the side i'm trying to decide what i'm doing i get like a whole ass pepperoni box you know with pineapple pieces i could do that or and then also i don't know i'm just being very indecisive to decide what i'm doing so i'm gonna bath and then get ready and then try to find a pizza hut that is not inside a mall if not that means i'm gonna have to drive further than the mall of africa just bite the bullet and do it or call them now and order it now over the phone so when i walk into the mall i'm in and out because i really hate like going to the shops eh? i don't like that's it's something that i do not like like i just don't like it there's no need for me to go to the shops physically this uber eats but uber eats is so expensive like it is so ridiculously expensive like like it's a scam we're paying for convenience at the end of the day you're paying 30 rand more for convenience plus 15 rand more for i don't know but you're just paying for convenience and it's coming out of my pocket if it was someone else's pocket i would definitely pay for the convenience because i'm not trying to go anywhere but it's coming out of my pocket so i have to evaluate what i'm trying to do in my life i hate that so much it's giving justice the sun is giving justice but anyway guys um also i'm always double sent because i was going to the mall for my cravings and now i'm being double sent for other things which is very very whack other people still going why are we not going you guys sit here for long i really wish like cinnabon and pizza hut were like on the outside like not inside a mall like in a small shopping center like that would really really save me so much time luck or whatever it is what it is so i'm not gonna go with this truck now not because i'm a good driver i'm just yapping right now so yeah okay, this is how i like my mall my i love it it's so empty like so empty like so it looks so exotic like put empty this is how i like my mom okay guys so i just got back from the mall i want to show you guys what i got I got a Red Bull because why not? I couldn't find a big packet of tumbles at Spa, so I got two to make it a big pack, maybe a medium pack. I got cherries because I haven't had these in a minute, and the ones from Woolworths were like a hundred rand, and these were fifty rand a checkers. So I wish I got the ones from Woolworths, but they taste good. I got pizza melt. I got carnivore and then fire resource, and I also got cinnamon. So I hope this actually feeds my cravings. I I really really hope. I'm about to watch the Kardashians. Yeah. So I hope this helps with my cravings. I was even having cramps at the mall and I was just like, I should not be here right now. Like this all would have cost me with apps probably two, two fifty, three hundred rand. Just for convenience. Just for convenience. That you literally are frozen in fight or flight. Something happened and you remained calm. You weren't calm before. Lunatic, if someone touched your clothes, you cried about everything, you were bratty. Dragged across. I feel bad for her. That was just her life from yeah. the day she was born. Prison. Yeah, I think it would be really. And that's the cool. I don't know if the lighting was hitting the best. But good morning, darlings. We're in the kitchen again because we're hungry. Okay? Or we just, I bought Indomie noodles yesterday. And 
think last time I had Indomie was when I was in Nigeria or when I was no when I was home when I was home. So today we are going to see my sister until it was the last time I'm gonna spend time with her actually. No, that's actually very sad. But anyway, we're not gonna cry. I don't have time to cry. I'm a big girl. Damn girl. I don't know when she's coming back actually I would like to see that so it's it's gonna be sad y'all yeah, so guys indomie is such a good like it's not too hot it's not too overpowering I'm not <laughs> gasping for him it's too good like this is good now we know what was missing a nice runny egg that's all that was missing you have me making my chopsticks too good too good honey So guys, it's I don't know what time it is. I think it's going to ten, and I just woke up from a nap, and I just saw my daughter's video from like two thousand and two, and I really wish I grew up in that time because everyone just looks happier. My daughter just looks so happier. Life just looks so much brighter. Anyway, I'm gonna watch the middle and chill. I'm probably gonna get hungry, but I'm gonna stomach through it and probably make food tomorrow. But yeah, I'm awake now, so it will end up really late because I was within the blankets, eh? I was inside, I was warm, I was in a canoe. Yeah. Anyway, guys, so I'm going to the airport to say goodbye to my sister. Um, this is the fit for the airport. This is what I'm wearing. My diamond pants. This Reebok pullover. And I'm gonna wear my slides because I feel comfortable. I don't want to cry, but if I cry, then I probably will cry. Yeah, but guys, yeah, I did cry. Trust me, believe me, I cried. Every time she held me and I waited for her to go all the way through the clock, going to 10, it's 9 o'clock. I need to figure out how to get out of here because one thing I hate about the airport is coming, getting as easy, getting out, and that route of how to get on the highway always confuses me. I don't know 
if I'm taking the right route. Did I? Okay, I don't think I did. Nah, I don't think I did. Yeah, I did it! I got it right! Yeah! To me! Talk to me, Nas! 